Hello class and welcome to Adjacent and Vertical Angles. This is standard 7G5 and the standard is use facts about vertical and adjacent angles in a multi-step problem to write and solve simple equations for an unknown angle in a figure. Our vocabulary for today, we have three vocabulary words. Adjacent angles share a common side and have the same vertex. Vertical angles are opposite angles ver formed by the intersection of two lines, and it's important to remember they are always congruent angles. Meaning, and that takes us down to our next word, congruent angles have the same measure. So vertical angles are always the same, they have the same measure. Okay, let's take a look at teacher example one. As you know, that means pencils down, you're just following along. Uh, naming angles. Use the figure shown and name a pair of adjacent angles. Now remember, adjacent angles have to be angles that share a um, one side, has to be the same, and they have to have the same vertex. So as we can see, all of these are going to have the vertex of B, meaning um, that's kind of that inner corner of their angle. Uh, and then finding some adjacent angles. Excuse you, little miss. Uh, some of those adjacent angles, we have A, B, F and FBE are adjacent, as well as FBE, EBD, or EBD and DBC, and finally DBC and CBA would all be adjacent angles. Of course we could also use the larger angles, for example this giant angle here, ABE, is adjacent to EBC. Okay, so we have some options. So if we take a look here, ABC and angle ABF share a common side and have the same vertex of B. So that means they are adjacent angles. For our example, those are the ones we have. Okay, naming a pair of vertical angles. Now this one's a little trickier. They have to be cut by two lines and they have to be the same size. So notice this little line here, line EB or BE, however you look at it, it doesn't go all the way through, so it doesn't create a vertical angle. So what we want to do is we want to just cover up this line right here and pretend it's not there. Okay, then we can see we've got this nice big obtuse angle here, FBD, and the one it's vertical to is the one that's directly across from it. It has to have the same vertex, but they can't share a common side. So ABC, okay, those two giant angles. Or the other option we have are ABF and DBC, those two acute angles. Okay, so we can use either of those and notice the book used ABF and CBD. Okay, because they are formed, they are opposite angles formed by the intersection of two lines, therefore they are vertical. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and try these two problems out. Please come up with two pairs of adjacent angles and two pairs of vertical angles for each of these. Go ahead and pause the video, copy this down, and press play when you're ready to resume. Okay, welcome back. For your adjacent angles, remember they have to have the same vertex and they need to be touching. So you could have used XWV and VWZ, or VWZ and ZWY, or ZWY and YWX. Any of those would be adjacent, any of those that are touching. And then our vertical angles, of course, would be two that are across from each other. For example, VWZ and XWY, or VWX and ZWY. Either one of those would have worked. Okay, and then on problem number two, um, adjacent angles, any of these that are touching would work. So I'll just read off some examples. For example, QJP and PJN or MJL and LJK. As long as your angles are touching and they have the vertex of J, meaning the letter J has to be in the middle, then they are uh, adjacent angles. Vertical angles, again, there are several sets. There's actually three sets of vertical angles um, of the small ones, and then you could also look at some sets that are larger angles. Um, and we have a couple here. So let's look at one of the acute angles. We have PJN is vertical to uh, with KJL. Okay, those are acute angles that are vertical. 
And if you want to look at some of the obtuse angles that are vertical, QJN and MJK. Okay, so some of those real large obtuse angles. So hopefully you were able to find some of those. If not, you do want to go back and rewatch uh, teacher example one. Okay, let's go into teacher example two. Tell whether the angles are adjacent or vertical and find the value of x. So what we're looking at are these two angles, 70 and x. Are they adjacent or vertical? Obviously, they are not uh, sharing a side, so they cannot be adjacent angles. And they are, in fact, vertical angles. Okay, now because they're vertical angles, it means they have the same measure. So if this angle is 70, this angle x must also be 70. Okay, in figure B, these are not created by the intersection of two lines. We actually have three lines here, so they cannot be vertical angles, and they are sharing a side, so they have to be adjacent angles. Now, this little red box gives us a hint. As we know, the little red box means 90 degrees. So that means the sum of these two is 90 degrees. So if we were to add 31 plus parenthesis x plus 4, that would equal our right angle of 90 degrees. Okay, now using our inverse operations that you learned in the beginning of the year, we're going to start subtracting, taking things away so we can get x by itself. So we can start by combining 4 plus 31 and getting 35. Then subtracting 35 from both sides of the equation, we end up with x equals 55. So that means x must be 55. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at teacher example three. Here we are constructing angles, so it's asking us to draw a pair of vertical angles with a measure of 40. So step one is use a protractor to draw an, a 40 degree angle, which we have right here using our protractor. Next, we need to use a straight edge to extend the sides to form two intersecting lines. So we extend this line that was right here, just draw it a little longer, and we extend this one. Now we know that vertical angles are congruent, so if this one's 40, this one's also 40. Quick question, what would this be? We know a straight line is 180 degrees, and we know we've already used 40 degrees of it, so what's left? And hopefully you found the answer of 140 degrees. So these two angles would both be 140. Okay. Just a little test for you there. Let's go ahead and go on to student practice two and three. Go ahead and do these four problems on your own. Press After you press pause and then press play to see the results. Okay, welcome back. Problem three. We're looking again, we've got a straight line. So we've got adjacent angles. One side's 85, so the other side must be 95. Here we have two vertical angles. If one side's 90 degrees, the other side is also 90 degrees. Number five, again, we have two adjacent angles because they are sharing a common side. We know they add up to 90 degrees, so we have to do a couple steps to solve for x, and you should have found 11. Finally, number six, draw a pair of vertical angles with a measure of 75. You can do that the same way we did it in the teacher example. And your drawing should look something like this. Okay, hopefully you understood the lesson for today. If you have any questions, please ask in class tomorrow. And have a great day.